So now I'm going to show you how to frame a work on paper in a mount um, under some glazing. So what we sell at Jackson's is the acrylic styrene glass and it comes with plastic film on it on both sides. So if you receive a sheet of styrene acrylic glass and you look at it and you think, oh, it's a bit scratchy, don't worry because it's probably the film protecting it makes it look scratchy. I have got my watercolour in a mount which I've prepared earlier and it's the mount is fixed together with a bit of a backing mount with a hinge a bit of hinging tape and I've just secured my watercolour with some tape there and I also have some backing board which we sell pre-cut but you can very easily cut this to size should you need to and that is the same with the styrene acrylic glass, both of those can be cut with a standing knife and a metal rule. So for my example I'm using this scoop frame which I particularly like. I've assembled it and once I assembled it you can paint it with a paint colour or wax it or if you don't want to do either of those things I could just give it a light sanding, make sure that the edges are all flush with one another and then it's ready. Turn it over. And first of all, you put your glass in. So you've got to make sure everything is clean, that your surface is clean and smooth, your hands are clean. You just peel off the film. Try not to touch the edges and then just position it into place and see if you can get the film on the other side. Peel it off like so you find that it's nice and clear. And you get your artwork, flip it over, pop it in. And then finally your piece of backing board can go in. We've got a number of different backing boards, but this is just the Jackson's backing board. And if you just check it's how you want it, I think it looks pretty good. So now we're going to fix it all into place. And you've got a couple of options. You could use these zigzag offset clips if you were, if you wanted to. Right? These will only work if your artwork's a certain depth and the moulding's a certain depth, and it's fine for this particular frame. So what you do, position them one on each side, and get a screw and screw into the back of the frame. And there's a hole on the other side of the clip. There's not always a hole, but this one there is. But you won't need the other hole. You won't need to screw into the other side because obviously that would just go through the backing board and into your artwork. So just into the frame for this one. And that will just keep your artwork in place if you do it on each side. The other option, fixing, is the Logan fitting tool and for using flexible or rigid inserts. I've got flexible inserts here, so here's a flexible insert. This tool does each insert one by one. You put the insert into the fitting tool, like so, and then You push into the side of the frame, squeeze this support, the top where there's a spring, move that so that it's snug against your frame, pretty tight there, squeeze the handle, move the arm back up, releasing the spring, and just gently move the tool away, and you'll see that the insert is wedged into the side of the frame and that will secure your artwork and you can insert the flexible inserts along the edge of your frame and these can be bent and the artwork released and then the frame could be used for another artwork if you wanted to in the future 
once you've fixed either your offset clips or your inserts into the frame, you can then think about how you want to hang your artwork. And you can use D-rings and string or cord, or wire I should say, or um, mirror plates. And that's your final framed artwork.